One of the most iconic movies of Channing Tatum's career Magic Mike is inspired by his true life experiences. Magic Mike was originally released in theaters on June 29, 2012 and was a critical success, earning a certified fresh critic rating on Rotten Tomatoes with a score of 78%. With a production budget of just $7 million, Magic Mike became one of the most profitable movies of that year, earning a worldwide box office total of $170.5 million and sparking the follow-up sequel Magic Mike XXL in 2015. 2012 turned out to be a massive year for Tatum, who celebrated Comedy 21. Jump Street with Jonah Hill also came out and earned $201 million worldwide. Tatum has grown to be one of the biggest movie stars in the world with a wide range of acting talents ranging from comedy to action. His first major role in a Hollywood movie was as Jason Lyle, a basketball player in the popular 2005 sports movie Coach Carter. Tatum notably was a background dancer in music videos before starring in his breakthrough hit Step Up, which eventually led to him starring in his other popular dance-focused franchise, Magic Mike. While 21, Jump Street and 22, Jump Street show off Tatum's comedic side, he also starred in the tragic sports drama Foxcatcher alongside Mark Ruffalo and Steve Carroll, which was nominated for five Oscars. Magic Mike is loosely inspired by Channing Tatum's real experiences as a male stripper in Florida. Tatum was a stripper for less than a year but knew the world well enough. While Magic Mike is not a true story nor does it chronicle true events in Channing Tatum's real life, it is inspired by Tatum's personal experiences as a male stripper in Florida. At just 18 years old, Tatum briefly made ends meet as a stripper in real life, which is similar to the premise of his titular Magic Mike protagonist. Tatum did not share a writing credit on Magic Mike with producer and screenwriter Reed Carolyn, who also wrote the scripts for Tatum's Magic Mike XXL, 2015, and Dog, 2022. Acclaimed director Steven Soderbergh, who also worked with Tatum on 2013's Side Effects and 2017's Logan Lucky, directed both Magic Mike and Magic Mike's Last Dance, 2023. Tatum was heavily drawn to bringing his slice-of-life experience to the big screen because it had never been done before. In an interview with The Aquarian, Tatum explains, I had a little experience in this world and, to be honest, I had never seen it on film. So, when Steven Soderbergh and I started talking about it, we discussed some classics like Boogie Nights, Shampoo and Saturday Night Fever, and decided we ought to be able to make a memorable movie about a subject that's never been covered cinematically before. Tatum reveals he was only a male stripper for about eight months and never made a career out of it but knew the world well enough. Magic Mike's characters and story aren't based on real people and events. Magic Mike has a great ensemble cast that includes Matthew McConaughey, Matt Bomer, Olivia Munn, Riley Keough, Alex Pettifer, and even Reed Carolyn as Paul. Even though the behind-the-scenes aspects of the lives and struggles of male strippers were authentically portrayed in Magic Mike, none of the characters, even Joe Manganiello's Big D asterisk asterisk K Ritchie, were based on actual people. None of the events in Magic Mike were based on true events either since Tatum did a lot to bring the sights and sounds of the underground world to the surface without actually retelling any real stories or recreating actual people. Tatum made it clear from the start that Magic Mike was a complete work of fiction. None of the characters are based on real people, not even my own. Everything that happens is fictional, and we did that purposely because we wanted the freedom to create our own scenarios and tell the best story, via Looper. Tatum added that Soderbergh really does empower people, from the actors to the crew, to bring their own ideas into the process, to really perform. To bring something that he's not expecting. And that empowers everybody to help everybody. With that being said, there is no true story behind Magic Mike but there is a whole lot of real-world and life experience infused into it.